So if you want to compare those two with each other, you can, but it depends on your situation. But in this case, keep in mind when you create a copyright, you always have. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Hi, welcome. Welcome to this series of videos. Like you know, in this series of videos, I will answer a random question on the internet. And today's question is, when one person writes a book on another person's paper, which person has copyright? Interesting question. Thing is, when you look at the question, you need to uh, separate a couple of things. So we're going to go to the drawing board where I explain this. As you can see, this is a drawing board and technically it works like this. When you talk about copyright, you always have three things. You have the A, B and C. A is the right itself, B is the copyright holder in this case, so copyright holder, and C is not a person that wants to use it. Thing is, here we have two things, we have a book and a paper. And technically, the person that created the book has copyright on the book, the person that created the paper has copyright on it. So if you look at the question, when one person writes a book on another person's paper, which person has copyright? thing is it depends when you look at the book what they wrote about it and what the situation is because you cannot say if someone write something about your book or your paper there's something wrong with the copyright or you can do something about it, it doesn't work like that so what you need to do is you need to look at the, the um, copyright separate and you also need to look at okay when uh, when do you see similarity between those two things but it also depends what your goal is so if you want to compare those two with each other you can but it depends on your situation but in this case keep in mind when you create a copyright you always have a b c so the person that create the book has copyright on the book the person that create paper the content they have copyright on it try to keep it in mind and if you want to use it you need to ask permission so in this case we have the book and someone wants to use the content of the book it depends what they use and what the situation is it's not like this is clear black and white it doesn't work like that so when you look at copyright you need to look at the situation so let's recap so in this video i talk about this question a little bit this question seems difficult because there's not a lot of information that you have but when you look at this question you need to keep in mind in this case you have two copyrights one copyright for the book and one copyright for the paper if you want to know if there's copyright in fragment or something else you need to compare those two things with each other and based on that you can tell yourself okay there's copyright in fragment or not but this situation doesn't tell you a lot of it and this makes it difficult just keep in mind in this case we have two copyrights one for the book one for the paper you need to compare them with each other and also depends what your goal is when you look at those two things if you have question about this, just go on the Discord and ask me directly. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. If you want to support us, make sure you press the link in the subscription. See you in the next video. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I'll make mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie, she went.